happy Monday, happy Monday. We got eight sales going out the door, um, which is a decent weekend. I'd say about average for as of late. Uh, three Poshmark orders, four eBay, and a Depop. I'll take eight orders on, on the weekend this time of year. Summer slowdown is in full effect. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We got a suit that went out the door this weekend. Some nice stuff too, Patagonia. Uh, new with tags polo. We got some good stuff to ship out. Let me just get this thing set up here. Privacy. Change. Cool. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everyone's doing good. Carol Ann is in the house. I seen it. I think I seen Wesley in the house too. Good morning, Jesse. What's up? What are you up to? All right, we got chat up. Everything's up and running. We're good. We're good. Good morning. Fetty, good morning. Cruising Nana is in the house. Good morning to you. Sicilian Soap Queen, Carolyn. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, Trisha Smith. We got the, the whole the whole Trisha family, the, the Smith family <laughs> in the house. Good morning. All right, we got some coffee going too. So this is the... um. This is peak blend, so I mix this with the bicicleta. So I have about like, I'd call it like seven, seven eighths peak blend and just a one eighth of that bicicleta, that light roast. It's got some nice like berry flavor. And it's funny that berry flavor is coming through even with that ratio. A little bit of berry, a little bit of sweetness added to the, the peak blend. Got to play with your coffee, y'all. Have fun. Yeah, I seen him. I seen him. I shouldn't have aired him out, should I? Well, he, he aired himself out. He said something in chat, so. Packing it up in order of 10 this morning. That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. That's great. All right. Let's get some work going. Let's get some work going. Uh, a couple updates first. Yeah. Tomorrow, remember, uh, whatnot, Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Somebody's going to win this tomorrow night. Uh, women's large cinchilla snap tee with that just bonkers pattern on that thing. That is just amazing. Women's large on that. How beautiful is that? Someone's going to win that piece. If you know, you know, it's an amazing piece. Really great high dollar item right there. Really in demand piece. And then I'm doing a Saturday pop-up show. I'm taking K-Way's time slot. Saturday, I'm going to go 8 p.m. Eastern time Saturday. It's going to be a rando fire drill Saturday show. And we're going to give away a brand new with tags. Look at that. Brand new with tags. $198 on the MSRP on that. That Robert Graham. No joke. Good size on it. XL. Beautiful pattern. This is a legit, legit no joke this ain't like a half ass robert graham here this is the real deal short sleeve that's a right now shirt xl classic fit looks like a snake skin print or something legit legit stuff there that's going somebody's going to win that saturday night crazy at least three giveaways every show this week's going to be the best that i've ever done on whatnot kim's going to join us as an mc both uh both tuesday and saturday we're getting our systems dialed we're packing this thing full of good inventory. If you pack the show full of people, I'll pack it full of, of really good inventory. I'll bring the energy. I'll bring the thunder. We'll have some good tunes going. It'll be fun. Go bookmark the shows. Take a minute to go do it. I got a link in my profile. You can go to Chris at peak.com. There's a link down below. If you're on YouTube and Facebook, bookmark the shows. The more people that are there, the more stuff I'll give away, the more fire I'll add to the show. I already got 30 items preloaded to tomorrow's show, Tuesdays, including this Lion Creek Boutique koozie. We're going to run it. Lion Creek Boutique, and we're going to throw some stickers in there too. Where'd they go? A Lion Creek Boutique sticker pack. We're going to run this tomorrow. It's rare. It's sold out. You can't get your hands on this. Lion Creek Boutique, my homie. He's got a show Wednesday night too and whatnot. Trisha says, hi, Kim. I don't know if she can hear you. 111, 24 days above 110. That's crazy. I don't know if that's a record you want to break. Chris Hayes, appreciate the follow. Welcome aboard. Eric Hayes is in the house. Thank you for the heart. Me appreciate the gifts. Flower Field. Good morning. So a really exciting week for me. I hope you all are excited too. Let me know. Two whatnot shows this week, Tuesday and Saturday. I'm spending a lot of time like curating some really good items. A lot of new with tag stuff coming out uh, tomorrow night too. Some really, really cool stuff. Some stuff that people told me, don't put that stuff on whatnot. Put that stuff on eBay and Poshmark. You'll get more money. Forget them. I'm putting this stuff up on whatnot. You're going to get a chance to win it. Everything starts at a buck. Lawn man with the chills. Appreciate that so much. Let me know if you're excited. Two whatnot shows this week. We also have another whatnot show tonight. Vanessa 
kitschy mushroom is going to show tonight. If you want to follow some people like Vanessa that are in the community, I have a link in my profile. It's like the fourth link down. If you go to chrisatpeak.com or you click my name up above, you go to my website. The fourth link down will bring you to some community members who run weekly shows on whatnot. Vanessa's is tonight. So you can go follow her. You can click the link right through there and you can go right to her, her uh, profile and book her on whatnot. Nice and easy for you. Found a Hell Howard Brothers this weekend. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Kit Kat with a big, big, big win. That's awesome. Howard Brothers in the house. Stupid question. How does what not work? Do you just make bids? Yeah, Mike Morris, if you want to check it out, the best way to explain it to people, I'd, like somebody, uh, our friends came over, our neighbors came over yesterday and they were asking about the whatnot thing. So I said, but the best way to do it is like, let me just show you a, a live auction right now. So we went into a live auction. I bought a t-shirt off a guy. It's actually a really sick shirt. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on whatnot too. Um, but go check it out. I have a link in my profile. It's the second link in my profile and that'll take you right to to sign up for whatnot, you'll get $15 for free if you use that link and you can go check out a show, but it's a live auction. People put in their bids and uh, it's super fast paced. It's fun. It's high energy. I love it. I've done two shows now and uh, I'm not looking back. I'm doing two more this week. We're going to go. But yeah. Check it out. Link in bio, $15 off just for clicking that link and signing up to, to whatnot for the first time. Why not take that 15 bucks? Go buy something. Your first order can be hundred percent for free. It sold in 12 hours. That's sick. Thank you for the follow Karina. Really appreciate that. Thanks for sharing the live too, Karina. That's really kind of you. $47 profit. Nice. Construction in Scottsdale. Woohoo. Morning. If you're just joining over there on Facebook and YouTube, say hi too. We got a lot of chitty chat over here on TikTok. We got 73 people hanging out on TikTok. We got a couple people over on YouTube and Facebook. Wherever you're joining, I appreciate you joining. We do this every morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. We ship out orders. We sip coffee. And as always, if you order a bag of Peak Blend coffee during the live, We'll ship this right out for you. I'll stop what I'm doing. We'll get it out to you. It's medium roast. It's fair trade. It's organic. It's freaking delicious. Chris at peak.com or click the link up above. Let's get some work done. Delk is in the house. New whatnot hype man. I want everybody to be successful on all the platforms. Poshmark, Depop, Mercari, Grailed, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and whatnot. I want everybody to be super successful. I was throwing some offers at a low bid items to help Vanessa get it going, and it wound up with some bone. Okay. I don't know what that means, but that's awesome. I think. Thank you for the heart made. David R. DD is in the house. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? You're the number three gifter, DD. Appreciate that. Thanks for my order, whatnot. Arrived fast and in perfect condition. Appreciate that. And if you ordered something for me on whatnot, first of all, thank you. That's awesome. Second of all, if you haven't leave it, left a feedback on whatnot, since I'm early, early, I'm like in the game, all those extra feedbacks help, uh, help my, uh, help people jump into the show and buy with confidence. So all those five-star reviews, if it deserves five stars, if you take a second to go review that order on whatnot, that helps me out a bunch, especially early. Don't forget to flip to camp. Thank you. Where's Mrs. Padro? She usually reminds me of that. Thank you for the chill. Appreciate that. DD, Tropical Flippers in the house. What is up? Trop Flip. Thank you for the heart. We appreciate that so much. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bone China clowns. You've you got some bone China clowns. Nice. All right. So let's ship some orders. You got to let me know what we're going to do first. We have one Depop, three Poshmark, four Ebays. Which platform are we, are we doing first? You can vote down below in the chat. One Depop, three Poshmark, four Ebays. Vote down below, just say Depop or Poshmark or eBay. You can even put DP or E and I'll figure that out too. Put a vote down below, nice and easy. You let me know, we got a Poshmark vote. Travis George is in the house. Did everyone get their stuff? eBay, Poshmark, eBay, eBay, eBay with four exclamation points from the guy who runs eBay, the CEO of eBay in the house with the exclamation points, Depop, eBay, Depop, eBay. I'm seeing eBay. I'm going to give it five more seconds to get your boat in. DP or E. DP or E. All right, that's it. I got eBay as the unofficial winner, unofficial results. We'll do a recount in six months. eBay is the winner. All right. So first up, just going with whatever's on the top. We got a Patagonia shirt going out the door. Let's get some shipping. If you have questions about shipping, let me know. If you have questions about shipping materials, you have questions about eBay or Poshmark or Depop or whatnot, 
ask them down below. Even if I don't get to your question, if I don't know the answer, which is fairly likely, there's got to be somebody in the chat. We got 54 people in the chat over on TikTok, four over on Facebook and YouTube. Somebody's got to have a really good answer for your question. That I'm pretty certain of. This Patagonia sold on eBay. I paid. Well, we'll go over the numbers after. Let's go ahead and ship it out first. Let's go ship it out first. We had a good groove going, Chris. We had a good groove. All right. This is going out to Robert. Robert is in Moab, Utah, getting him a nice Patagonia size medium. Look at the colors on that. This is like a sun shirt. So it's a nylon polyester blend, super lightweight, great like summertime long sleeve. Keep the sun off on the Moab. That sun gets hot in the desert. We're going to put this in a 9 by 12 poly bag. Oh, poly bag. Poly bag. And we're going to get Robert a thank you card. Appreciate you paying the rent this month or contributing to it. He's the god. Use eBay shipping or purchase elsewhere. For eBay, I'm purchasing 99% of my shipping labels right through eBay's platform. The other 1% will be international orders that I purchase through Pirate Ship, their simple export rate. Or if it's a if it's a heavy item that fits in a small box, I'll check uh, Pirate Ship from time to time because they offer uh, USPS Priorities cubic rate, and sometimes I can save a few bucks using that cubic rate. But 99% of the time, it's going right through eBay. That's an excellent question. That's an example of a great question right there. That's an awesome question, Shannon. Or no, that was user 96318. Shannon's got a question too. What is the first step to getting started on whatnot? It said you have to sell on other platform first. So yeah, part of your application. So the first thing you can do, Shannon, is I actually have a link um, where you can uh, get really, like you'll get like an expedited review uh, for your application if you want to get started quick. So you can go to that link by just... Um, Going into my profile, there's a community link. And in the, at the bottom of that, you can pass by like six uh, six other people who run awesome whatnot shows every week. Or you can just go to whatnot.chrisatpeak.com, whatnot.chrisatpeak.com. And then scroll down to the bottom, you'll find a link uh, to, to apply to become a seller. And part of the seller application is, is they want to see that you've sold somewhere else. And they want to see like, what's your feedback there? What's your experience like there? So don't get, you know, don't worry about it if you don't have like a big, long, uh, experience. That's not what they're looking for. They just want to see like, okay, this person knows what it's like to sell online and they followed through on some deliveries and stuff. But again, if you want to get a, like an expedited review process, go ahead and go to whatnot.chrisatpeak.com and there's a link for you to apply to become a seller. It's super easy. I got through the process. I applied um, through another seller's link and got approved within like six hours. And then I scheduled my orientation that same day, like later on in the afternoon and had the whole thing done, like done and done, like within 24 hours, it was pretty quick. But I think that's because I went through another seller's invitation link and they expedite those. Super, super easy. Just got the number. And if anybody wants, like if they have questions about whatnot and getting started, I'm happy to help you with that too. Good morning. Abby is in the house. I appreciate the heart me. Thanks for being here. You don't have to send gifts. Just thanks for like coming and hanging out and sharing some time with me. That means a lot. Thank you for the chills. Appreciate that. Applying via referral is definitely better, says Vanessa. If Vanessa no, don't know, who knows? Mercari removed. Somebody's inviting me to join the live. I don't want to join. Thank you, though. Mercari removed several of the listings. Claim my photos were stock photos. Jeez, that's a bummer. Were they stock photos? Sorry about that. Chris is the number one hype man, all about helping everyone with their whatnot. Sarah is in the house. Sarah had a freaking awesome whatnot show. What was that? That was Friday. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Friday. Sometime this weekend, Sarah did an awesome freaking whatnot show. Like, really, really good. Friday? That was really, really good. I was, like, I was impressed. i got to be honest with you. Uh, your printer works better when you plug it in. Printer works better. When you plug it in. Who's giving you that kind of freaking reselling tips? Right there? Who else is doing that? You can't get that elsewhere. Nine sales going up today. Nice. Third hand. Nice. I like the hand in your uh, screen name too. Clever. Thank you, Robert, for your order. That's going out the door for you. Let's see. What was our shipping cost on that? I already freaking forget. Whoa. 
at five dollars and seventeen cents USPS ground advantage. So let's go over the stats for this first item. I picked up this Patagonia. This is that Pandagonians garage sale video. If you saw that, let me know if you saw that video down below. I picked that up 77 days ago. It was May the 6th. It sold on eBay 77 days for $32. I paid $5 for it. The buyer paid $5.45 shipping after shipping and fees and cost of goods. I made $22.15 profit. I keep track of all of this. And Jason Hayes' fantastic reseller spreadsheet. He is the sensei. He taught me 96.7% of everything I know. And now I use his dang spreadsheet every single day, multiple times per day. Patagonia out the door. Next up is a woman's Woolrich. It's a flannel shirt. I sold some jeans today too. Flannels, jeans, a, a suit. Those are fall kind of items. It's got to slowly start to trickle in more of the fall stuff. Missy Carver is in the house. Missy Carver. Her name is the same over there. KB, if you're looking for Sarah. Yep, same name. Oh, we got it. You already took care of me. It's Brianne, finally updated my name. No way. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that that... I saw the profile picture look familiar, but I didn't connect it. I'm like, third hand, I don't recognize that person. Should I? Brianne is in the house. That's awesome, Brianne. I'm glad you got nine orders going out the door. That's sick. So this uh, this Woolrich, women's size extra large. It's a snap-up flannel. It's actually a really nice piece right here. Sold for $20. Buyer paid $5.95 shipping. This is going to, I don't know, this. we'll take a look in a second, but it's going out to Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Getting a lot of invites. People want to join the lab this morning. I don't know you, man. I don't know you, man. Morning, Casey. What's up? Give us an update from the weekend. Business update, personal update. Just tell us something about the weekend. That goes for all of you. Casey is in the house. Rich. Okay. So this is another eBay order. We're going to print the shipping label right through eBay. Throw that on the shipping scale here. It's going to go at a 15 ounce rate. Nice. Keep it under a pound. Be $6 and 78 cents. It's going from Asheville, North Carolina, clear across the country to Kent, Washington. I've never set foot in Washington, the state of Washington before, but I was so close. All I had to do is walk across this bridge that goes over the Columbia River Gorge or the, over the Columbia River. I was in the Columbia River Gorge and I didn't walk over the bridge. I don't know why. We just did a hike. I was tired. So I could just walk across that bridge right there and say I set foot in the state of Washington. Instead, six, seven years later, I'm telling the story about how I almost made it to Washington. $6.78 on that shipping label. Going to Kent, Washington. Woolrich, six, seven, eight. All right, so I picked up that Woolrich flannel shirt for five bucks at a thrift store. That was 46 days ago, June the 6th. It sold on eBay for $20 plus $5.95 shipping. After shipping, fees, cost of goods, I made $10.52 off that Woolrich woman's flannel shirt. Someone buying flannel right in the middle of the heat of the summer. That's my kind of person. Catherine is my kind of person. And my biggest sale in a while, Burks paid 45 sold for 175 Brand new discontinued style. Nice Central Leslie reseller. If you're not following Central Illinois reseller, click on Leslie's name right there. Give her a follow, especially if you're just getting started or you're thinking about getting started. She's putting out all this curriculum that is like just foundational video curriculum to get you started. All those little things that add up to big things as you're first getting started. It's awesome. It's really good. It's really good. Um, it's really good content. It's it's perfect. It's exactly what you need if you're just getting started. Give her a follow, please. Central Illinois reseller. That's Leslie. 37 sales this weekend. Thrifty Missy is on. It is in Crush City. That's awesome. Crushing in Crush City. 37 sales. Let's go. Big E. 17 orders last night and listed. Last 17 orders last night and listed. Parts from Leslie. Thank you. Boring weekend. Just caught up on listing. Death pile is non-existent. Good job. That's awesome. That's got to feel good. Nine sales this weekend for Kitty Cat. Kit Cat 41.988. Nine sales. That's awesome. Weekend update. Bought an electric skateboard. It's rad. Did you get the uh, one wheel or what did you get? I want to know more about this. I'm actually really interested. We ran like saw a gang in Asheville, like nine people who were riding those one wheels yesterday. 
in a set of gang because they were like they were, they were kind of like riding all crazy almost like running into cars and each other it was a freaking one wheel gang in Asheville they were dangerous next up we got a another fall sale right here in the heat of oh never mind that's a depop where we'll stick with eBay for a second yeah a fall sale Joseph A bank suit size 44L going out the door this is going to Tammy this took a while to sell. For a while, I was selling Joseph A. Banks suits with some speed. Nice pattern on this too. Kind of a classic pattern, size 44L. It's a nice suit too, because it's the wool uh, lycra blend. So it's got like a little bit of stretch to it. I thought those suits were a little bit nicer. It's a decent size. 44L is not a great size. So here's how I fold up the blazer. It's inside out. It's folded in half, so the buttons and the stuff that, you know, is sensitive, the outer part, is on the inside. And then I'm just going to fold that in thirds. We have a suit jacket torta, blazer torta. All right. The pants are already folded. I fold these just like I fold the jeans. Let's get these bagged up. I'm going to use, oh, I have bags right over here. I'm going to use a 19 by 14 poly bag. I use these for a lot of different things. Uh, I use them a lot for shipping new in-box pair of shoes. I'll just slide the shoe box right into this bag. But I also use them for blazers and suits, for winter jackets, a 19 by 14 poly bag. I've got it linked in my profile. All the different sizes I use, anything you need for shipping materials. If you're just getting started, you're probably going to order some shipping materials from some vendors that really suck. Their shipping might be slow. Their quality might be inconsistent. Um, their prices might be really good, but you might be getting junk coming from China or something. Consider instead using the links in my profile. I've gone through all those bumps in the road. I've ordered from crappy vendors or inconsistent vendors or vendors that just don't really have a high level of give a give a shit, I guess. I was trying to think of another word, but that was going to be it. Click the links in my profile. Yeah, I get a little bit of a kickback for that, sure. I make like 2 to 4% on some sale, but you get the same low price. But the key thing there is that you won't get, you'll get like a, a good, get it from a good vendor that's going to send you good quality stuff. They're going to ship it to you quick because I don't have a tolerance for companies that just don't do good business. Good morning, Angie Helms. I had to buy more poly mailers for tonight's show. Should be here today. Sick. What time's the show tonight? And what have people got to know about your show, Vanessa? You can click on Vanessa's name and you can go right to, she's got a link to her whatnot profile. You can go bookmark the show. It's a big help to her if you bookmark that show. Bookmarks are huge. Even if you're like, I don't think I can make it, the bookmark still helps her attract more people. This is a 1095 USPS priority box. Sometimes I ship suits via FedEx or UPS, especially if it's going clear across the country. It could save me a little bit of money. In this case, this is only going to Tennessee. So I know that without even looking, the USPS priority is going to be my cheapest rate. So 1095 box. It's in a 19 by 14 bag. And this is going to fit like a glove. Boom. Thank you, Teach, for the Heart Me language wave, lady. Thank you for the Heart Me. Appreciate that. Will any thermal labels work in the printer you sent me? I need more. Yep, you can order any. I have um, ones that I really like. I'll show you them. I just ordered some new ones the other day. I have these linked in my profile. It's a really good price for generic labels. I've been I've used probably 5,000 of these labels, and that might be an understatement. Um, they're linked in my profile. The, the name is uh, Bobo. I don't know, Bobo. BU, HBO. Anyway, they're linked in my reseller shopping list, those exact ones. And I'll, I just reorder them all the time. I just reorder another thousand. They come by 500. They end up being like three cents per label. And yes, with the IDPRT, you can use generic labels. Some of those other brands that we won't mention, they make it so you have to use their own overpriced labels. That's not customer focused, that's shareholder focused. And companies get shareholder focus and forget the point of why they're in business. They go downhill. Not the IDPRT. It's linked in my profile, by the way. IDPRT typically on sale for about 90 or or $100. 
I use the wired one. There is a Bluetooth one that works only with Windows machines. I use the wired one. I have a Mac. All right, we're all packed up with this Joseph A. Bank suit. It is on the scale, three pounds, five ounces. It's gonna go at a four pound rate. Where are you, Joseph A. Bank? We're gonna print this e uh, label right through eBay. I could check it out on Pirate Chip just to see if the, um, it's not gonna be any cheaper. Uh, we'll see, four pound rate. It'd be seven dollars and twenty cents because it's only going right down the street to Tennessee. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. We're about an hour and a half. Well, we're less than an hour and a half from the Tennessee border, depending on which way we go. So seven dollars and twenty cents, even though it's four pounds. USPS priority. We're gonna buy that seven twenty. Love the sweater on the wall. Somebody's gonna win that tomorrow night, one hundred percent for free. This is going up on whatnot. I already have 30 items preloaded. We're going to find another, I don't know, 10 or 20 more tomorrow during the 1 p.m. live thrift. All that stuff will go up on whatnot. But somebody's going to win this Patagonia. We've got three giveaways. This is a women's size large, by the way. Bonkers pattern. Someone's going to win it. It's going to be a buyer appreciation. So somebody who buys something tomorrow night, including coffee, you can buy a bag of coffee and still get entered to win. I love that piece. If you know, you know, too, those Patagonia cinchillas, those snap tees, you find them with a crazy pattern like that, people go crazy. I'll go look now. You're welcome. Triplets in the house. Just ordered 500 labels. Sweet. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm being honest with you. Like, I bought these labels. I probably used 5,000. That would be a conservative estimate of that exact brand uh, label. And they worked with the IDPRT. They work with a lot of printers. As long as your printer allows you to use generics, that one will work. When you go and thrift in for Saturdays, whatnot, I already got like seven items preloaded. I got a bunch of just fire stuff that's going to go up. I already have three giveaways for that Saturday one. I'm not going to do a live thrift for that one. That's just going to be a basic one because I'm not going to go out thrifting Saturday the day of. That'll just be Tuesday. So I'm just going to load it up with whatever I want to load it up with. And it includes somebody's going to win Saturday night. Go bookmark the show. The more bookmarks I get, the more stuff I can give away, the more fire I can pack the show with. $198 MSRP. It's like a snakeskin print, size extra large, Robert Graham. Someone's going to walk away with that for free Saturday night because they buy something. Maybe they buy a t-shirt, right? Maybe they pay 10 or 15 bucks and that's enough to get them entered there. Maybe they buy, buy a bag of coffee for 16. They'll get entered. Maybe they walk away with that Robert Graham. Or do you want my mouth through? Thank God. Sick, man. That's awesome. Love that, man. Love that you got that so quick. I love ordering from them. Love it. Printed on Pirate Ship anyway. They need money because of David's boycott. <laughs> I don't think David's boycott's resonating. I think I think his his uh, viewers are smarter than you think. They know Pirate Ship. They know it's good. $7.20. Let's go over the stats of that. Joseph A. Banks. I don't pick up a lot of Joseph A. Banks, and I probably shouldn't have picked that one up, but I made profit. So I picked up that Joseph A. Bank on January 26, 22. I didn't realize it was that old. So 543 days that was in inventory. Who cares? It was, it was sitting out in a bin, whatever. I knew it would sell eventually. It did for a best offer on eBay for $55 plus plus fourteen ninety five shipping. After shipping, fees, cost of goods, everything. I made $41.43 on that suit, and it cost me $12. Bucks. It sat around for a while, but I made good profit on it, $41.43. The suit did not pay rent, but it did uh, give us some profit. Charge that suit rent. All right. We got one more eBay. Then we're going to pivot to Poshmark, and then we're going to pivot to Depop. By the way, if you order coffee during this live, I'll stop what I'm doing. You'll skip the line, and we'll ship out your coffee with a big dose of gratitude right here on the live because I appreciate you. Jeff Bezos is on his yacht. He's in the Mediterranean. You're going to order stuff from him. Maybe you're ordering coffee right now in groceries. He doesn't care. He's rich. Amazon doesn't need your money. But I'll tell you what. I appreciate every penny. It helps pay the rent over here. I just got an offer. Where did it go? View all offers. No? I swear. It said you have a new offer. Yeah. 
Maybe not. I don't know what happened. Was that eBay? I thought it was a Poshmark. Work with me here. It just said you had a new counter offer. Whatever. We'll figure it out later. Thirsty Amy. Good morning, Tina. Thank you. Good morning. Gigi's in the house. What's up? I bought a polo that I think would be a great whatnot item, but no idea how to get eyes on it on eBay. That's the cool thing about whatnot, right? Like if you have like 50 people in the room, right? You hold up a shirt. Those 50 people are looking at that one shirt. Whereas on eBay, it's hard. You get lost in the sea of things. So different things can sell well uh, on whatnot just because people are like actually looking at it. You know, you've got people's attention. They're like, hey, look at how cool this freaking shirt is. Angie, my coffee arrives today. That's awesome. Get you some good, fresh coffee. That coffee was roasted on Thursday. Over 40 items on my show tonight, all t-shirts, vintage, band, funny. What time is that show, Vanessa? And you can go to um, you can go to whatnot.chrisatpeak.com, whatnot.chrisatpeak.com, and you can find a whole bunch of people in the community who are running weekly shows, and you can link right to their profile. So whatnot.chrisatpeak.com, and you can find a link directly to Vanessa Kitchy Mushroom Show tonight on Whatnot. Thrifty Amy's nervous about tonight, her show tonight. Of course you're nervous. Why wouldn't you be nervous? I'm nervous about my show tomorrow, and I've already done it a few times. It's natural to feel that way. It's something new. So it's, I'm glad to hear that you're nervous because that means you're human and you're not a robot. So that's good. Check that off the list. So to me, I fight nervousness with preparation. So I'm just going to prep, prepare, 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 prepare. You know, maybe you do. A, have you done a test show yet? Go do a test show. See what it's like. You know, see what an like running an auction like is like. Click all the buttons. Do that kind of stuff. Gigi Daisy's first show is August 3rd at 7 p.m. What day of the week is August the 3rd? It's a Wednesday. No. Yes. No. Yes. I think. I'm freaking out too. Of course you are. It's natural to be nervous about being on, on camera, talking to strangers. Some of people are friends, but there's strangers out there too. But they can't hurt you. Whatnot show tonight, 9 p.m. Thank you for pinning that. How do I do a test show? I can't figure out. Google whatnot test show, and it's going to give you step-by-step -step step instructions on how to do it. Whatnot test show. You'll be good. It'll literally walk you through it. It's easy. Congratulations, GG. It is a Thursday. Oh, it is a Thursday. My day's off. Really? It's a Thursday? It's a Thursday. It is a Thursday. Confirmed. Thursday, 7 p.m. GG. She's got a link in her profile. Maybe. I'm not sure. Do you? If not, you got to learn your lesson for not having it because people could click on your link name right now and go right to it. Wild Winds. Good morning. So brands, I mean, yeah, Biggie sells crazy stuff. He loves uh, Roundtree in York is his favorite brand. He knows the stuff that kid. All right, eBay sold a Brooks Brothers shirt. I had this in inventory forever. Part of the reason I think this sat in inventory forever is my photos on this were I was in transition. I just moved to Florida and I was trying to figure out my new photo setup. And I found this shirt right at that time and the photos sucked. So let's take a look at the photos. Let's see here. Boom. This is brand new with tags, Brooks Brothers. Size medium. I had it listed for $42. This was in inventory since 9-1-2020. I moved to Florida like... 7 19 2020 so this was like six weeks into me moving in florida i didn't have my photo set up dialed yet check it out well wow. that's the photo that's the cover photo it's just not good it's shadowy you can't really get a good look at the purple color on the stripes and stuff so my competition had better photos than me it's a 105 dollar shirt and it sat forever just not really good color on that because the light was coming in from the right hand side of the frame here or i guess the uh i guess on this side of the frame on you it looks like the other whatever you get the idea so i got a big big shadow from the natural light right there just can't really get a good look at that so that that's why this shirt sat around i had three of these so in fairness, it took this 1,053 days to sell, which might be my record. 
uh, might be close to the record. I don't think it is the record. 1,053 days, but I did have three of these. So the other two are gone. This is the third one. But still, that's a long time for a brand new with tags, Brooks Brothers item that I had priced pretty competitively at 42 bucks. I had to take an offer for $30 to get that thing out the door after 1,053 days. Photos, y'all. Your photos have to be better than your competition, especially now. Did it matter as much when I started in 2018? Mm, it mattered, but it doesn't matter like it matters now. It matters now because guess what? People have been stepping up their game. Thrifty Amy's taking better photos, right? She's not just half-assing it. Andrew's taking good professional photos. People are using things like Photo Room. Thank you, Brian, for your order. The competition has stepped up their game. The average reseller on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari, their game is better than the average reseller back in 2018. That's just the facts. People are taking better photos. They're buying photo lights. They're listening to people like Wayne with his photo booth and stuff. People are paying attention to their listings and putting measurements in there. It's tough to compete. And you can see right here, I did not win on this shirt. I made money. Uh, but I did not win at that shirt. I stored it for 1,053 days, y'all. Those were old photos for me. They weren't good. This is going to go at a 12-ounce rate. We're going to ship it on through eBay. It's going to go USPS Ground Advantage. What do you think about that new name, Ground Advantage? It sounds very 90s to me. Ground Advantage. Like, what is the advantage? Like, oh, advantage over what? What is the advantage? All right, so this is going to Uniondale, New York from Asheville, North Carolina. That's going to be $4.88 for the shipping label. USPS Ground Advantage. What do you think about that name? Is that a 1994 name? That poor shirt would be thrilled to get out of that bag. Exactly. It's ready to bust out of this bag. It's a nice shirt. Brand new with tags. Brooks Brothers. Nice color. Nice pattern. Not your everyday Brooks Brothers, right? Competition had better photos than Pete. So my item took forever. And an awesome meal last night was really first class. I mean, gosh, yeah, it sounds, yeah, doesn't it? It sounds like, it sounds like 1990s. I wonder how much money they paid to like a marketing, like a marketing agency to come up with that name. $4.88. Let's plug this into Jason's awesome resource spreadsheet. If you don't have a spreadsheet to stay organized, you feel like you're a little discombobulated. And you need a way to like keep track of your business, your inventory, your sales, your tax information, your costs. Consider Jason Hayes' reseller spreadsheet. I have a link in my profile or at chrisfpeak.com. You can get 10% off with the discount code THANKSCHRIS10. If you forget what the discount code is, I have that linked at chrisfpeak.com. And in the profile, if you click on my name, so get you a deal on that spreadsheet. You'll thank me. If not sooner, you'll thank me come April when it's time for taxes. I think you don't have to thank me. Thank Jason. He's the one who made it. All right. I picked up that shirt on 9 1 2020. That was at the TJ Maxx in Harpin Springs, Florida. I picked up three of those shirts. I paid $11 a piece. This one sold for $30 plus $5.45 shipping. And after shipping and fees and cost of goods and all that stuff, I ended up with a profit of $14.70. But it took me 1,053 days because the photos were just not that good. They weren't terrible. They just weren't that good. Let's switch over to Poshmark next. So we got four orders, on, or sorry, three orders over on Poshmark. The first one is another old item. I'm selling a lot of old items. This one is an L.L. Bean shirt. It has a little flaw. You can see it. It's like right there. Right there, a little flaw. Nice cotton shirt. Look at the pattern on that. Size large, nice summer cotton, very lightweight. His spreadsheet is the best. They probably ran a word scrambler and picked the first two words that came out. Andrew, I guarantee that's not what they did. I guarantee they spent a real, like a, a wild bonkers amount of money for a marketing agency to come up with that name. I promise you that. There was no word scramble there. They could have done a word scramble and come up with a better name, just like a few people in a room over some uh, Bud White Limes, they could have come up with a better name than that. L.L. Bean, men's large. I do like the service though, it is better. Going out the door, this is going out on Poshmark. I love Poshmark shipping because I don't even have to weigh this item. And I can use, I don't have to use my own bags, I can if I want to, or I can just use one of these, it's going priority. So USPS priority, this is the Tyvek envelope, free at USPS.com. 
LL Bean size large. This was in inventory for 751 days. Sold for a best offer of $13 on Poshmark. This is going out to Ricky. Thank you, Ricky, for taking the shirt off my hands. It's a nice shirt. It's got a little flaw on it. You got a nice deal. 13 bucks. Ricky's got to get the shirt. He's got to be pumped. Okay, it's hot out in wherever the heck he is. It's hot out in Rent the Mass. That's South Boston, right? Rent them. It's hot in Rent the Mass. And he needs a nice, lightweight cotton shirt to look snazzy in. And he's got to get this shirt on freaking Wednesday. And he's going to be feeling good. Bud Light Limes is a part time bartender, just know. I had a Bud Light Lime the other day. It was like a back of the fridge beer at my buddy's house. Uh, so my friend Trace, my Airbnb sensei, he ran a, a garage sale at his house on Saturday morning. My friends Kate and Ben and my goddaughter Breckenridge were all there. They were selling some stuff too. Good, clean, fun. I got to see the other side of the garage sale of actually sitting there and selling stuff and negotiating with people. They let me negotiate on some deals for them and stuff too. It was fun. Um, and I bought some stuff, of course. And well, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, you gave me a back of the fridge beer. Give me a Bud Light lawn. The other option I had was I was like some blueberry beer, definitely back of the bridge fridge beer. And then the other option was a uh, oh man, I forget what like a St. Pauli's girl, but it was the non-alcoholic, the zero percent St. Pauli's girl. I think that's what it was. I was like, dude, you just offered me a zero point zero percent beer, and my best choice. I had a blueberry beer. A non-alcoholic beer or a Bud Light Lime. I went Bud Light Lime. It was hot as all get out, so it was actually delicious. All right, 13 bucks. This is going out to rent them. This is Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. LL Bean. It's got to be hot. He's got to rock this. He's got to feel good. He got a good deal. His friends aren't even going to notice that little flaw. You know what I mean? The Postmaster drinks Mick Ultra. The Mick Easies. Do you like Shandies? Um, is that, that's like a style of beer right now. I don't, I don't really drink those. I mean, I'll drink it if it's in the back of your fridge and you're giving it to me. They couldn't even spring for Corona. 929 sports is back. 929 is here. Raphael's here. These shirts have been in the bag since before 9-11. That was a long, 9-11 was a long time ago, man. Some of the, some people in this chat may not even have been born. That happens. And that's awesome. I like the youngsters getting started in the business. You don't need school. You can go to school. And I respect you. I worked in colleges and universities for more than a decade. You can go to school, but you don't need to go to school to do a lot of things. You want to be a doctor, go to school. I don't know if you're going to want the debt. If you're not sure what the heck you want to do, and you're worried about having $200,000 in student loan debt, maybe hang out for a little bit. Try doing some things. All right, we got an LL Bean size extra large. This is part of that haul that I bought a whole bunch of LL Bean shirts that were donated by the same person at the thrift store. I bought like 50 of them. Another one sold. They're starting to move a little bit. They're trickling out the door. This LL Bean's going to Melissa. She got herself a nice little blue LL Bean. We won't make a lot of profit individually on this item, but it was like six total listings, multi-quantity listings. Super easy for me. And shipping is fun and easy and fast anyway. This is going out. Uh, USPS priority. Poshmark shipping is the best. Come at me. It's the best. It's easy for the seller. It's easy for the buyer. They get their item nice and quick. It's good for beginners on because you don't have to have all these shipping supplies. You can just use the free USPS supplies. It's good for OGs. Because I don't like paying money for shipping supplies either. I can use the free stuff. And my customers are happy because they get their stuff super fast. So this LL Bean sold for a best offer $14 on Poshmark. I paid 5 bucks back in the fall. That was 269 days ago, October the 27th. After shipping and fees and all that mess, $6.20 is going to be the profit on this shirt, which isn't much. But again, multi-quantity listing. They're just kind of trickling out the door. And this is going to... Melissa, thank you for your order, Melissa. Melissa's in Illinois. Nice short sleeve LL Bean shirt. Let's go. Felix is in the house. What's up, Felix? Do you recommend buying one of those folders? Folders, folders, folders. 
folders. One of those folders. I don't know what you're talking about. If anyone, uh, maybe you have to explain that to me. Folders. If anyone likes flavored whiskey, try Dole Ball whiskey. It's fabulous. Tastes like cookie dough. I don't like flavorings in my whiskey. Don't don't put all kinds of weird sugars and flavorings in my whiskey. I like being. I like just a good whiskey. But if you like flavors in your whiskey, that's cool too. Not my thing. Sorry, shirt folders. Yeah, if you want, I like using it. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with their business, but I've been using one for years. If you don't want to buy a, a shirt folder, um, you can just cut out a piece of a box and use it into a rectangle shape and use that as your folding board. That's what I did for years before somebody gave me a folding board. They're like, hey, I don't use this because I don't really fold stuff. Do you want it? I was like, yeah, I'll take it. All right. Next up, another Poshmark order. This one, this is our last Poshmark order. And then we get a Depop order. By the way, got no coffee sales over the weekend. Is this true? No coffee sales over the weekend. No coffee sales here on the live. This coffee was roasted on Thursday. Thursday is probably the freshest coffee you've ever had in your life. And I just realized there's no orders going out the door. I got all this fresh coffee. As always, if you order during the live, I stop what I'm doing. I'll bag up your coffee and I'll give you a big, big dose of gratitude for supporting my small little business here. The coffee's delicious. I mean, it's a no brainer. It sells itself. Well, it usually sells itself. Just didn't sell itself this weekend. The Ralph Lauren Marlin shirt. I shipped one of these out just the other day. What day was that? There it is. Uh, what of these sold on the 20th? So four days ago, the 20th was Thursday. So we shipped it out, I think on Friday, Friday morning show. This Marlin shirt. I had two of them. I bought them on Christmas Day on my phone from Belks.com. I paid $34.90 a piece. Neither one of them sold until January the or July the 20th. So 207 days for the first one, 210 days for this one. And this one sold for full asking price, $79 on Poshmark. So after shipping and fees on this shirt, I'll make $28.30 because I spent $34.90 a pop. This one sold for $79 full asking price. Cool. We'll take it. I was starting to think that this was a bad buy, but it's got all over Marlins on it. The MSRP is 110 bucks. It's probably sold out too. It's probably not a shirt you can get. They both sold now. Let's go. That coffee will sell like crazy when it gets colder, I believe, says Jory. If you're not following Jor Jory at Nature Coast, give him a follow. He knows his stuff. He's live all the time. He wears tank tops. He won't open his garage door, but I still like it. $79 on this shirt. Brand new with tags from belt.com. Bought it Christmas Day. Bought two of them. And they both sold this week within three days. After sitting forever out in the garage. That's the retail arbitrage game. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is a funky game. I won't sell a shirt for six months. Seven months almost. And then I sell two in three days. It's just weird how that works sometimes. Sometimes it works the other way. I'll have like six of an item. Two of them sell instantly, like within the first couple of days. And then the other four sit for six or eight or 10 or 12 months. It is just funny how it works. Retail arbitrage is a funny, funny game. Salby is here. Mom's of Havoc is here. Thank you for pinning a comment. Oh, awesome. Thank you for pumping up Tuesday's Whatnot show. Appreciate that. Coats are starting to move. Yeah, I sold, uh, what did I sell today? A pair of jeans, we're gonna pack those up. Uh, we sold something else. We sold a suit today. That's kind of a fall or a colder time item. What else did we sell? Oh, we sold a flannel shirt. I like people who buy flannels in the middle of the middle of the summer. Those are my people that was going to Catherine. Anyway, this Marlin shirt's out the door. Nice profit on this. Thank you, Ian. Ian's gonna rock that shirt. With freaking pride, his buddies are gonna be like, dude, that shirt is sick. Let me buy you a Bud Light line, bro. All right, we got a Depop order going out next. I found how soft the whatnot shirt is. I love how soft the whatnot shirt is. Mom of Havoc, which shirt did you get off um off of whatnot? You'll have to remind me. Thank you for your purchase, by the way, on whatnot. It means a lot to me. Supporting our small little business. Whatnot tomorrow, 7 30 p.m. Eastern time. We're gonna give away four items, and they're all gonna be good. This one is the king or the queen. I guess it's a women's size large cinchilla. Look at the pattern on that. Give me some kind of emoji down below that describes this pattern. Give me an emoji in the chat. How would you describe this pattern in emojis? Crazy, crazy. Someone's going to win that tomorrow night. 
and three other items that I'll pull that are going to be awesome. You get to pick what one of the items I'm going to give away tomorrow at the live thrift, 1 p.m. TikTok. Every Tuesday, 1 p.m. on TikTok. I go to the thrift store. I fill up the cart with cool stuff that I'm going to start on whatnot for a dollar. And you get to pick one item out of the cart that I'm going to give away 100% for free. That one is for my daughter, Dawn. Oh, boy. She's got to win it. It's She called her shot, shot on a foot choice over the weekend. It's pretty stoked. Nice. I like foot choice, especially this time of year. Men's Blue Floral Mountain Khaki. That shirt was sweet. That was a really cool one. That's one of those ones that I feel like that sells better on like a whatnot show than it's going to sell on eBay or Poshmark. Why is this door keep open? Just because you're like, you actually have people's attention. You know, you're not worrying about like searches and all that. Like people are looking at it and you're like, that's a pretty shirt. So thank you for your purchase. That was cool. We got some emojis coming in to describe it. Dollar signs. Chris, that's Aztec print on your shirt. That's hanging. Yes. Thank you, Wayne. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But that's not an emoji. <laughs> Wayne, taking me to school. Wayne the Brain, taking me to school. Depop order here. Levi's, size 48 by 29, 550s. These are the relaxed tapered. Not vintage, just modern. They sold on Depop for full asking price. $27 plus six shipping, which is weird. I usually do $9 shipping on jeans. So $6 shipping. I messed that one up. Usually I do six dollars for shirts, nine dollars for jeans. So and this one is probably gonna be a two pound rate. So probably didn't do great on shipping on those. Yeah, it's gonna go at a three pound rate. Is what I meant to say. Two pounds, three ounces. So we'll probably lose a little bit on the shipping, but let's see. Okay, I still get a full asking price, so I'm happy. It's not going clear across the country. Let's go South Carolina, maybe Tennessee. We'll do that. Or North Carolina, that'd be cool. Georgia's fine. Sorry, I got a phone call. It's a square you use to fold up shirts. I don't have an Aztec emoji. <laughs> then you have to be creative. That's, you have to use your creative mind. You got to find something that would describe it. I can think of some things that I would use to describe an Aztec print. I think somebody used it. Yeah, Gigi Daisy used a cactus. I feel like I'd have the cactus in there. Maybe the sun. Something Southwest style. Chris, I'm sorry. I got a phone call. I saw you doing it. I saw you doing it after the whatnot. And Andrew, I'm not sure what we're talking about. There's a dog. Is that a dog down below or is that a horse? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. The horse. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That could be aztec -y. If you combine like a few emojis, I think you can get there. North Carolina and raise up. What's up, Jeff? How are you? How are you? Happy Monday. Hope the start to your day is good. I hope you had some caffeine in you. Let's bring up this order. Are we having an internet day today again? Come on, internet. You can do this. I believe in you. We're going to ship this order using Pirate Ship. All my Mercari, Depop, and Grailed orders I ship using PirateShip.com because it's cheaper than shipping through the platforms, and I can pass that savings on to my buyers and hopefully get... Come on now. This is so dumb. Okay, there we go. Come on, internet. You can freaking do it. I believe in you. Kind of. Your cardboard cut out, maybe Chris. That thing you use to fold your shirts. Taco shirt. Good. Well, all this item start at one dollar. One dollar starts tomorrow. What not? Seven thirty p.m. Eastern time, and every Tuesday, seven thirty p.m. Eastern time. There's a link in the profile. Jeff's here. He's from North Carolina. He's excited. Good morning. Second Life Boutique is in the house. All right. Let's copy this address. This is going to Utah, so I'll probably get dinged a little bit on the shipping here. But that's okay. I'll still make a profit. Come on, internet. You can do it. Come on, internet. It's part of mountain life, y'all. You got to take the good with the bad. You might have those nice, cool nights. Like last night was a cool night. You got to put a sweatshirt on. I don't need to be wearing a sweatshirt right now, though. It's actually warming up now.
Come on, internet, you can do it. Did someone say tacos? I think so. Kim V59 is in the house. What's up? Good morning. Angela Michelle is here. Hi, extra eyes, get your bonus points. Biggie, what is that? Emojis. I don't know what those are. I can't really see them. My eyes aren't that good. I can't see what those are. All right, internet works. This is going to Kaysville, Utah. Thank you, Gabby, for your order. Just got some Levi's jeans going out to you. Probably get these in a padded flat rate envelope. Okay, come on now. Padded flat rate. Get rates. So that'll cost me $8.30 to ship in this padded flat rate envelope clear across the country, Asheville, North Carolina to Kaysville, Utah. Padded flat rate envelope. If it fits in this bag, it ships for $8.30 anywhere in the country. And that's it right there. It's these padded ones. I use these for a lot of jeans and sweaters, that kind of thing. $8.30. You bought this shipping label at the post office, it's gonna be a lot more than 8:30. I don't know how much it'll be right now, actually. My guess is it'll be like 9:50 or something like that. As always, we don't trust government adhesive, so we're gonna add a little bit of tape to this here. Big brother adhesive. Mountain Desert with Sun. Is that what that is? I can't even see it. It's so small. It's cool looking though. Tacos. It's a desert scene with moon and cactus. Gotcha. Your eyes are better than mine. Retro Barbie what not sale Thursday, 6 30 p.m. Eastern time. Would be love the support. Retro Barbie. So Second Life Boutique. Do you have a link in your profile, Second Life, so somebody can click on your name and go right to your whatnot show? Do we have that? Do we have that? How do how come you can't use Crown Advantage for those now? It's cheaper and has insurance. It's a, it's going at a three pound rate clear across the country. So it'll be more expensive. All right, so we're printing out the shipping label. $8.30, Asheville, Kaysville, Utah, done. At a flat rate. Oops, I didn't put the thank you card in for Gabby. No. Thank you, Gabby. Appreciate you sending positive vibes. We're going to forget one or two a month. That's just the way it goes. We're going to copy and paste that tracking number back into Depop so Gabby knows her order's on the way. She ordered these Friday night. And she sent me a message Sunday morning asking me when the item was going to ship. I wanted to say like, listen, sister, hold your horses. It's the weekend. You ordered Friday night. It's Sunday morning. You haven't even gotten out of church yet. And you're asking me about your order. But what I really said is thanks for your order. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I got your order Friday night. It's going to ship out first thing Monday morning. Thanks. Okay, we got an offer. But before we get, well, can you need an offer on your, let's see, we got an offer. We got a men's large Ralph Lauren shirt on Poshmark, $21, and we got an offer for 15 bucks. You get to choose, what am I gonna do with this? $15 offer on a $21 men's large Ralph Lauren, really nice pattern on the shirt actually. Nice shirt, modern Ralph Lauren tag, size large. Look at that's a pretty shirt. That's a pretty shirt. It's listed for 21. Offer, standing offer on Poshmark, 15 bucks. What is Chris gonna do? Okay, while that's happening, I got mail over the weekend from Beth. Beth is in Ruffin, North Carolina. I have no idea what this is. I don't think I was expecting anything. Beth used a retail. I'm not going to cover this up. 
good stuff at trust mess. She used a USPS ground advantage retail. She bought this like at the counter. So thank you, Beth, for shipping whatever this is out to me. But it, she paid five dollars and fifty five cents for the shipping label to ship it. It's a uh, six ounces. So it's going at an eight ounce rate. She paid five dollars and fifty five cents. This label would have been like four dollars and twenty five cents. If she printed the label from home, she would have saved a dollar twenty five and she wouldn't have had to wait in line at the post office to buy the label. She wouldn't have had to handwrite this whole thing out. She could have saved herself money. So if you're not sh print shipping labels, if you're not printing at home, you're leaving money on the table every single order. So you can buy something like an IDPRT thermal printer. You can pay like $90 or $100 for it. It pays for itself after like less than 100 packages, right? Like it's already going to be paid for. Not to mention the time that you save, that's worth money too. So I don't know what this is. What do we expect in here? You got a handwritten note. I like that. And I'm not giving Beth a hard time. You know, always looking for opportunities to teach and help people with their games. How long listed on the RL? Um, I'm not really sure. I can look it up. I'm not really sure. I purchased this to show your first, to support your first whatnot show. I've learned so much from you. I hope I can read this out loud. Beth, if she's here, she can tell me now. If she's not, we're just going to read it because I think it's positive. I learned so much from you and so many others in the community. Really appreciate all of you. This is such a Chris shirt, I think, and I wanted to gift it back to you. Thanks for teaching us and helping us along the way. Beth. You would maybe rec uh, okay i know who it is now i know who it is now i will i won't air who, who it is out just because i'm not sure gotcha cool thank you so much i appreciate that so much beth i do a carolina friend beth sorry i got a mercari notification Okay, I got a situation. Let's get to that in a second. I'm excited about this. It came right back. I love it. That's awesome. This is my size too, isn't it? Size large, yep. It came right back. So thanks so much. Uh, one of our favorite places to go, it's Oscar Blues. And Beth had, uh, you bought this shirt. Actually, this was an auction that you won. So that 1050 stout, which is a 10.5% stout, that's why they call it 1050. It's an imperial stout. Delicious beer from Oscar Blues. And on the back, it's got all these fun, like, cornhole names on it and all that stuff. So thank you so much for sending that back that way. This is definitely a Chris shirt. I found this on a live thrift. And on Tuesdays, when I do those live thrifts, everything's going up on whatnot, no matter what, even if I love the shirt. The only exception to that rule is if Kim wants it, then Kim gets it. So thank you for sending this back to me because this would have this would have been one if it wasn't found on a live thrift. This would have been hanging in my closet at least for a period of time. I usually will end up selling stuff in the end anyway, but this should fit too. I haven't tried it on. Thank you so much, Beth. Super, super, super kind. Hi from Indiana. Ordered a thermal printer and waiting for it to arrive. Awesome. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Smart investment, I think. The thermal printers. Gosh, a desk jet will cost you about eighty bucks these days anyway. And then you got to buy ink. You might as well buy the thermal, right? And save money on ink right away. Should I take 125 on a Roomba? I had it for 161. How much you got into it, brother? Three more full containers gone. Okay, so we got a couple of things going at once. So let's go back to the Poshmark. Then I got this Mercari thing. I'm going to need your help for that. Uh, split the difference from list to offer and move it. There you go, Deb. Your vote is in. Zeppelin, if it's not a polo raffle or just raffle or I would take the $15 and move it out. So Zeppelin's in with his vote. Let's see what TikTok's got for votes. We got, uh, I ordered Amazon last night and arrived at 8 a.m. this morning. That's almost as fast as peak coffee, man. That's fast. Counter 17, take it. Paid what? No thanks. Take it. Accept it. Counter 19, 19, 19, 18. You had offer on Roomba. Just had offer on Roomba. Retail, damn. Come on, Beth. Did you get your whatnot order? Uh, no, I did not. I was just checking to see what's coming. No, I don't have any outstanding other mail. Hi from Indiana. I got you. You're so welcome. So I think I'm going to counter at 
18 bucks on this. It seems like there was a lot of 17s and 19s. So I'll go $18 on that counter on here. Counter, 18 bucks. Submit. There we go. Countered at 18. Let's see what happens. Thank y'all. Appreciate that. All right. We got another situation. So I scheduled a payment on Mercari for, it was a, I had a balance of $57 on, I don't know, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday of last week, something. And it takes a couple of days for those Mercari payouts to process. So I went in, processed my payout as I normally do. But I didn't change any of the bank account information, nothing. I just sent it through. And this morning I got a notification that the payout was canceled and they sus sus subtracted $2 from my Mercari account. So I sent them a, a message this morning, like a help ticket. And I said, my last payment is showing is canceled by Mercari. I use the routing number and bank number that is saved in my Mercari account details. I made no changes to that info. That is the same payout information that I've used my last several Mercari payout. It appears you have also taken $2 out of my balance. Please process this payment for the full amount, including the $2 that was taken out of my account. Thank you. Screenshot attached. That's what I sent to them. Yeah, I don't know. It's non-inspirational content. Thank you for the chills. K-Way's in the house. What's up, K-Way? Um, so response pretty quickly from Mercari. It's only been like two and a half hours since I sent them this message. It says, hi there. This is from Ava. Thank you for reaching out to us about your payout issue. I understand that your request was rejected. That said, allow me to check and assist you with this. I looked into your redirected direct deposit further and it appears that the account number you provided did not correspond to a valid account or did not contain the correct number of digits. The transfer could not be completed. So the funds were returned to Mercari balance minus a $2 refundable processing fee. I suggest confirming your routing number, bank account number, and, this, and the exact name on the bank account before requesting a direct deposit. Thanks for that suggestion. I hope I was able to assist you by providing the details about your payout issue. If anything else comes up, please feel free to reach back out to us. So I don't know how that information would change. Like you'd have to go in there and click edit and change the information, which is, I didn't do. So I'm gonna try this again. So we're gonna figure this out because this is a real world reseller problem. Uh, that person accepted the uh, offer on that Ralph Warren for 18 bucks. So thanks all for your input on that. So that Poshmark order is going out the door. We'll go grab it and ship it out. But first, let's figure out this payout thing. So now I have a balance of 55.51. And we're going to go to transfer balance, direct deposit, balance to use, 55.21. Use this amount. Next. So it's got all this information already preloaded in there. It says double check the information, but they have stars through like the account numbers and the routing numbers and all that until I, like I'd have to go in and like change them, which I definitely didn't do. So let us see, I have to compare these numbers here. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna log into that account. What a pain in the rear. What the heck? Another horrible customer service company. Uh, you are going to have to fight tooth and nail to get that $2. I'm going to, if I fight for the $2, I'm going to charge them per hour for every hour I have to fight them for that. It'll be $160 an hour for every hour I have to fight for my two bucks. I'll charge them. All right. So we're going to go in here. Going to go into the bank account, pick the right one. There's no way this stuff is wrong. I'd have to go in and literally like manually change it. Okay, so now I gotta so the routing number. I mean the last digits are right, four nines. And that one's so the last digits are correct. So it's not letting me, I can't even see if it was right or wrong because they, they put the asterisk. So when I go to change it, I just have to retype it in, I guess, all the way, 2164. It's so stupid. So now I have to enter it from scratch to confirm that it's right. 
Like, what a hassle. This is just the world. Hey, pal, what's up, Dusty? Thank you for the heart, man. Chris, there's no way your details are wrong. They followed something up. Exactly. There's no way. Because I'd have to, I would have had to go in Thursday or whenever I did this and do exactly what I'm doing now, which I would remember. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's, so now I've got to re-enter all this crap, which makes it more likely that I mess it up, right? Because now I'm like, you know, introducing human error into this whole thing when this is the same account number that I've used over and over and over, it's just saved in here, you know, two, five, six, zero. I can read you the routing number that don't matter. This is just real life reseller issues right here. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to respond to this, actually. Um, how I'm going to respond to Mercari's request. And I'm going to be um, upfront and direct and polite at the same time. So I'll show you my strategy for that. Just double check that these are right again. We'll go in and now we're going to respond to that message from them. How do I do that? They closed the case, so it means I probably can't respond. Let me try to type a response anyway. Thank you for your, is that working? Quick reply, period. I just double checked the account details and everything was accurate. This is the same account information I've used for the last several transfers. The information is saved in Mercari. Any mistake that was made on this transaction was Mercari's mistake. I would like to speak to a supervisor about this matter. And I would like the $2 refunded to my account immediately. Thank you. No, the bank account ain't frozen. I'm logged into it. Yep, everything's 100% right. It's the same exact information that I've used at Saved in Mercari. I've done probably 50 transfers um, with that same information. 
So it's definitely not my fault. No, that wasn't mean. That wasn't clause. It was just direct. You made a mistake. It's my money. You made a mistake with a bank transfer. Um, I've reached out to customer service about the mistake. Obviously, that customer service rep didn't go and look and confirm that that was the same exact transaction information as all the past ones. Um, so they didn't do their due diligence in my first response. So now I'm just asking them to talk to a supervisor and I want them to fix the mistake that they made. It's not my mistake. Yeah, either way, it's not my fault. They made a mistake. They told me it was my fault. Check your account information. Sort of an effective communication. It's not rude, no. And I think there's a lot of uh, young people who might think that that kind of communication is rude. I'm direct. This is my money. They have my bank account information. You think they, if I had $57 sitting in my pocket and they came and took $2 out of my pocket, that I'd be any, any nicer? It would be a little bit different. And that's exactly what this is. It's $2 out of my pocket. Um, it's just out of my bank account. They have all my information. You come taking $2 out of my pocket. You better have a mask and a weapon. Or you better ask nicely. Yeah, all that stuff was like, you know, they have to be very, very careful with bank account information, right? So, I mean, I'll talk to him. I'll go right up the chain. I'll talk to Mr. Mercari or Mrs. Mercari. Who knows? <laughs> and I'm going to send him a bill for $160 per hour for every minute I have to spend trying to get the $2 back. $160 an hour on retainer. We got another order going out. We got a Poshmark order. But first... I've got some mail, some more mail. Thanks for letting me share all that with you. I don't know if it's helpful or not, but. So we got mail from Kat. We ordered stuff from her whatnot last Sunday. So just got a nice thank you card. Oh, that's sweet. Nice thank you card from Kat. I don't remember what I ordered. Something's new attack. A new attack Willie Pulitzer. I did, but it didn't see the attack matches for your shirt. I asked this for every day and I didn't even do it. That's bad to not like escalate to a supervisor when asked directly by the customer to do so. That's bad. This is good stuff I ordered from Cats One. Not. Holy Toledo, I forgot about this stuff. It's a brand new attack it's a Willie Pulitzer t shirt. Women's size large, or women's size small, my bad. I'll see if Kim wants it. Women's size small, look at the pattern on that. Brand new with tags. What's the MSRP? $98 on this Lily Pulitzer MSRP. 98 bucks of that, it's beautiful. Good morning, Miss Elizabeth. It's not a home. Okay, hope you're well. So it's like a long, what do you call that? Like a tunic t-shirt, I guess. A long t-shirt. Women's clothing is more complicated. So thank you, Kat, for that. That's cool. All right. What else we got? Oh, man, that's crazy. Howard Brothers shorts. I never found Howard Brothers shorts in my whole life. My gown, maybe? I don't know. That is beautiful. Thank you, Caroline, for that compliment. That's so nice of you. What do you think of the shirt, though? What do you think of the shirt? Thank you, Caroline. What do you think of the shirt? Dress, is that maybe? Is that, is that like a nightgown? Let's see what it says on here. It says Cody short sleeve dress. So whoever said dress is right. Pink shandy, size small. So it's a dress. That's what it is. Right, there we go. South Texas dress teach. Small. It's a dress. Gotcha. Yup, dress. Women's clothing is complicated, y'all. Oh, that's Kim. She's not going to want it. <laughs> so we're going to put this up on whatnot, probably. We're going to put that up on whatnot. Kim does not want the dress. So... Not very Kim style. Howard Brothers. Thank you, Caroline, for the uh, for the compliment. 
glad you like the dress too. Hollow Brothers shorts. I don't know what size they are. Great brand here, size 34. These will actually maybe fit. So sweet. Vanessa, thank you for the compliment on my eyes. What did you think of the dress? I sold my Lily Pilcher dress, Jesse picked up within 15 minutes, minutes of listing in a group. In a group? What's hanging on the wall today? It's a Patagonia women's large cinchilla. Nice Southwest pattern on that. Women's large snap key cinchilla, complete fire drill right there. Somebody's gonna win this for free tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. on whatnot, 7.30 Eastern. But you could sell that within minutes in the Lily Pulitzer group on Facebook. I don't think I'm part of any Lily Pulitzer group. Some of the ones that just picked up within 15 minutes of listening to the group. I don't even know the color of your eyes at Facebook group or for Lily Pulitzer. Love that pattern diddly squat picking. I don't know that I'm going to join a whatnot or a Facebook group for Lily Pulitzer. I'll just put it up on whatnot for somebody. How about that? I don't know. Love the, the Lily Pulitzer grad dress. Thank you so much for the compliment on the dress. That's courtesy of Cat Sunrise Listings. I think it's too bad I live in Florida where it's hot because I would buy it. You can't wear dresses like that in Florida? In Florida. Okay. What were we doing? I got to get that Poshmark order. We got an order that came in. I got to check. As always, if you get your coffee orders in during the live, we'll ship them out. During the live with a big dose of gratitude, and you can cut the line. Right now, there's one item in line. We got this Poshmark order going out the door. We'll get a thank you card coming together here. is an A5. And this is going out to... Thanks everyone for hanging out. It does make my day brighter and I can ship my orders, just my normal morning routine, and I can hang out with you all to do it. Love Poshmark shipping. Don't even got to weigh the item. If you pick one that someone has it's not the rarest one i didn't schedule pickup ah just put a note in your mailbox you're good dead all weekend and three sales this morning nice cast love that love that just put a note in your mailbox i forget more often than i would like to uh to admit i'm gonna run out to the garage i'm gonna grab this item it's an a5 uh TikTok can come with me because they're on a phone I, youtube and facebook you're on a laptop i just can't do it I'll be right back. Hold tight. Speak amongst yourselves. I miss you already. You can check out these items in the background.
noticeable possibility of foot failure to show up the dog. Even if you can't make it, noticeable parts help. But you haven't clicked on her name, I've gone over it. Just give her the bookmark, help her out. Won't cost you any money, and it helps her out. Literally brings money to her pocket. It'll just take you two seconds. We're back. We got a shirt. Queenie's bookmarked it. I always bookmark all that I know of. Appreciate that, Caroline. All right. Too warm for the sweatshirt now. Ralph Warren going out the door. We're going to use a USPS priority Tyvek envelope. These are free at USPS.com because everything Poshmark ships priority, flat rate up to five pounds. These bags are free. I could use my own bags too, but those cost money. They cost me about six cents each. Thank you, Caitlin. Caitlin's right down the road in Etheridge, Tennessee. start tees of all sizes that's awesome i love t-shirts as you know and i'm so excited that selling on whatnot is just a better place for t-shirts t-shirts are fun they're fun to talk about they bring up stories they can make you laugh of course i like selling button downs and fleeces and all that stuff but there's something about t-shirts i really enjoy so it sounds like that show tonight is going to be good fun Nothing like a funny t-shirt. So we'll go over the stats from this order. First, I got to make sure it's delisted from all my other platforms. The market is sold and Jason Hayes is delightful. And so Jason Hayes is sensei. Of course, he's texting me because I'm live because that's what he does. He doesn't just come into the live. He texts me when he knows I'm live. So first we're going to find this item on Vendu and take it down. There it is. Market is sold on Poshmark. Boom, just a couple clicks and Vendu is doing its thing. It's taking it down from the other five platforms. There we have it. Just going to double check one thing. 929 is back. I bought a ton of stuff on whatnot this weekend. Garbage pail kids cards, lots of nice. I bought a bunch of stuff on like a, a t-shirt show on whatnot yesterday. It was a really well done show. Paid a lot of money for some of the stuff, but it was just good inventory. I had it. I thought the fellow ran a good show. I don't know who he is. I just popped into it. It was great. So I hung out for a bit, bought some stuff. All right, we're going to mark this as sold in Jason Hayes' fantastic reseller spreadsheet. We'll go over the stats. I picked up this shirt on May the 11th of this year, and it just sold on Poshmark for a best offer that y'all helped me choose. $18, buyer pays for shipping. That sold today on 724.3. Sold on Posh. Cool. Put in $18. Shipping collected at zero. Shipping cost of zero. And after fees and cost of goods, nine dollars and forty cents on that Ralph Warren shirt and profit. Nine forty. So that's it. Nine sales going out the door today. Eight from the weekend and one this morning. Everything is shipped just like that. Thank you for the chills, Caroline. I appreciate that. The gifts are super kind. Really appreciate it. Remember, tomorrow I'm running a rare and sold out Lion Creek Boutique koozie. And it's going to come with a couple of stickers. It's going to come with the, the Lion Creek It's Not My Fault famous sticker. And then that classic, just good looking, handsome Bro Creek sticker right here. So that's going to be, I'm going to run that tomorrow. Good, clean, fun. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple things from Saturday's Saturday Rando Fire Drill Sale. 
I'm gonna let you preview a couple items. These are already up. Maybe you can pick another one too. Maybe we'll pick another item. Orbis Women's Lightweight Flannel. That's a size XL women's. That's going up on whatnot this Saturday, rando Saturday fire drill. Harley Davidson, two sided. Yeah, thank you. Two sided. Harley Davidson, look at that like a uh, Western kind of look like a stockyard type of thing. And then on the back, the motorcycles, it's uh, most in Wisconsin, Wisconsin Dells. And I like about this one too, it says real brothers and it's got like three dudes riding their bikes together. Front stockyard, little scene, Western scene. This is a men's, I think this is a men's XL. Nice one, got some Harley going up. Somebody's got to win a Harley too. Goofy, this is on a Disney store tag. It's a vintage made in the USA, Disney store tag. This is a unisex large. Again, made in the USA, Disney store. Check out the back. It says, not any old character can pull off an outfit like this. Goofy. Huge goofy head on the front. Just look how happy Goofy is. It's ridiculous. What not? Starting at a buck. Chewy. It's got some pilling. It's a youth large. Chewy. Front and back. And the hood even zips up. It's got a chewy face on the hood. It's like a mesh hood thing that's going up for a buck. Your kid's going to love that. You know, I can't do a, a Chris at peak whatnot show without Western wear. Here's a vintage Saddlebrook tag size XLT. Let's see on this size. Yep. Size XLT vintage tag on this solid pink color, Western Pearl snap. Oh my gosh. The mountain. This is on a uh, unisex large. The mountain no longer makes shirts. These were all hand tie dyed. Huge lion on the front, long sleeve tee, ridiculous shirt. Starting at a buck and whatnot. Saturday, that'll be Saturday. Patagonia size medium. This is a lightweight sun shirt. It's a snap up, which is really cool. And if you look really closely, it's got like this subtle um, seersucker kind of pattern to it too. Very, very lightweight. It's a, a nylon blend, it's mostly nylon. I think a little polyester. Really, really nice. That's like good, good. That's just not, not that's not like cotton, lightweight, cheapo Patagonia. That's high end Patagonia. Someone's gonna win this completely for free. That's a vintage SeaWorld. Look at that. Vintage SeaWorld tag made in the USA tank top. That's a size uh, extra large. Plain back, huge shamu on the front. Ridiculous. Another Harley. That one's sick. Starting at a buck. Skull. Everyone knows the Harley with the skulls. Chicago on the back. Crazy. That one's a size large. Authentic Harley. Genuine Harley. This one um, is, we're going to run it. It's new, but the tag, you can see, got broken off. But it's still got the 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 string from the hang tag. So brand new size XL classic fit, crazy pattern. So new without tag, we'll call this one. That's going to start for a buck. So that's a quick preview. And then I already got three giveaways lined up, including this brand new tag. This is giving away. This is buyer appreciation. Snake print size XL, which is an awesome size. Look at the pattern. This is like legit, legit. That's just a preview of Saturday's show. Saturday's show is going to be the best curated show that Kim and I have ever done. Kim's joining us for both shows. Saturday is 8 o'clock. The more bookmarks I get, the more crazy stuff I can give away and the more awesome stuff I can pack the show with. So we already got three giveaways for Saturday. Ridiculous. Fancy schmancy. That's just a taste. I have so much inventory uh, in this here. Yeah, this one's going to go up too. Flannel shirt season is like right around the corner. I think it's already here. Flannels year round. Royal Robins, men's XL, awesome size. This is a performance flannel, so it's not cotton. So it's like polyester, rayon, and spandex. So this is a good outdoor brand, Royal Robins. It's a performance flannel, so it's wicking. 
Uh, it's mid-weight on this, really nice. I love those like earth tone colors on this piece. If this was my size, you already know I'd be keeping this. So that's gonna go up for a buck. I just haven't added that to the show yet. And I'll, here's one more I know that I'm doing. Just announced the show, so I haven't really had a time to build it out yet, but uh, RLX, no country club logo on this. Size extra large, which is a great size for these. This is the right time of year to be selling these as well. Really lightweight polyester spandex little piece there. So, yep, show on Tuesday and Saturday. We're doing a double dose. K-Way is on vacation Saturday, so we slid into his time spot. So K-Way runs as good of a show, uh, Kayla and Wayne, as good of a show as there is on whatnot, in my opinion. So we're going to do our best to, you know, Kim and I, to fill those shoes and put on an awesome show with crazy inventory, ridiculous giveaways. It's got to be really fun. I'm also now, am I now considered a clothing reseller now that my husband tonight, you know, well, yeah, there you go. You can be whatever you want to be. I think I'm going to put this up too. Let me know if you want this for Saturday. Give me a Y or an N down below in the chat. I've never seen a piece like this before. It's Adidas and it's a rugby and it's like a legit, legit rugby. Adidas hit on the back too. Color blocking. Like that is just awesome. Like legit, legit rugby. It's got all the little details, like the vents. It's got the, the reinforced vents. It's got the reinforced, what do you call that? Like the collar buttons thing. The buttons are rubber. It's got the contrast collar. This is men's. I'll have to measure it. I think it's a men's XL. It might be 2X. Yes, yes. Way to go. What is this one? 27 pit to pit. So... This is a 2XL, so that's a men's 2XL, awesome size, crazy pattern, great colorway. Adidas hits front and back, big Adidas hit on the front there. Just a statement shirt, love rugby's. And this short sleeve rugby, I guess I'm just grasping that. Not a common thing you see is a short sleeve rugby, really cool. So I'm seeing yes, yes, sell that well. Kim gonna get extra wine funds for that Saturday show. Yeah, something like that. So that's going to go up on whatnot too. It looks like people are excited about that piece. So as always, I'll have some really fun t-shirts for you, some Harleys, uh, some Taste of Asheville stuff. Oh, I got to see. I do have a Taste of Asheville piece. I got to make sure I get more this week. Uh, that's not it. I got a Taste of Asheville piece back here for you. You know, I love selling these and it's not truly Asheville, but a taste of the mountains out here. So this is Tennessee, the Comedy Barn. So it's a it's a theater. It's like a dinner theater thing. It's been there forever in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This shirt is it's double stitch, but it's vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. It's definitely got some like you know it's been worn. There's some cracking on the some cracking on the graphic but that's like the look you're looking for in a really cool vintage shirt like this so the comedy bar on pigeon forge tennessee so just on the other side of the mountains for us from us in pigeon forge take us about uh take us about an hour to get there from here so that will be part of the taste of Asheville. just a little bit of a different piece really rare unique find let me know down below have you been to the comedy barn theater i showed this to my neighbor Stacy yesterday and he said that he'd been there but it's been a long long time like a dinner theater kind of a classic cool cool thing to have like a like a vintage shirt from like a cool place like that love the comedy bar you've been there thrifty mama that's awesome love the comedy bar okay some people have been there so there you go i've never been there never heard of it but my um my neighbor stacy was like oh man that place has been there forever that's cool it's a nice fun piece with there. We'll throw that in. Actually, I got to put that into the Saturday pile. So I remember, I remember. Yeah, I'll probably add some more Harley to the show. Yeah, I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of stuff. Good, clean, fun. I love it. All right, y'all, I'm going to sign off for the day. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me a little bit this morning. It was a lot of fun. If you haven't already, take a second to bookmark some shows. You can bookmark uh, Vanessa's show tonight on whatnot. It's going to be awesome. She's got a bunch of T-shirts. I have links to my show and all these other shows. If you go to whatnot, 
www.chrisatpeak.com. It's whatnot.chrisatpeak.com. If you want to see some weekly shows, you can click right through from that spread or right through from that website to go check out people that you should follow and bookmark their shows, including mine. I'm doing a show on Tuesday and I'm doing a show Saturday. I'd love to have you there. Thanks everyone for the bookmarks already. And also you can find links to apply to be a seller on that page uh, and you'll get an expedited uh, decision on that application. If you use the link at whatnot.chrisatpeak.com. Also, you'll find a link to get $15 just to join whatnot for your first time. If you want to go check it out, you get $15 for absolute free just by signing up through that link at whatnot.chrisatpeak.com. Dot com. Wishing everybody an awesome start to the week. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to go get more coffee and get some stuff done. I hope you get some stuff done too. And I hope you have great sales. And I hope you find some cool stuff this week. See you next time. See you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Peace.